<laughs> what is going on everyone? Welcome your faces back to Friday's edition of the gaming news on the 2017. So today uh, we're going to be covering a couple of stories today but mainly about the gaming awards last night. So the BAFTA Game Awards was last night for 2017. What's been the best games of 2017 uh, over the last year since last year. Um, and there's some good games on the thing. So the most game that got the most awards coming out of the night with four awards was a game called Inside. I've never played it myself before. Um, I don't know what it's about. Um, but that game has won four awards. It's definitely something I'm going to be looking into. Because like, if that's won like four awards, then why the hell not, not check it out? Um, but by the looks of it, it looks pretty cool. Um, it's um, it's definitely an indie game. I mean, it definitely is indie game. Um, so if you like your indie games, definitely going to go check it out. Um, I certainly got to go check it out. Um, but we're going to talk about some of the games that won some of the awards last night, which was very interesting. Um, so starting off with the best multiplayer game. Um, some really good games on here. So Battlefield 1 is on the list. Forza Horizon 3, Overcooked, Overwatch, Titanfall 2, Tom Clancy's The Division. So good. What do you reckon is going to be these things? Type your answer now, sort of thing. Um, then I uh, then I'll obviously tell you in like three seconds on who the winner is. But let us know in the comments down below. What do you reckon your predictions are for this? So the winner of the best multiplayer game was. I need to actually get some drum 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 roll audio. Which was Overwatch. Which fair enough. Overwatch has been really hyped up. It's a game I have played like several a couple of times. I don't own it, but it's something I definitely want to get. Um, then best mobile game was the Banner Saga 2, Dawn of Drew Less X Go, uh, Pokemon Go, Pokemon Sun and Moon, um, and Reasons. And basically, I was like, okay. I've heard a couple of them, I haven't heard some of them. Um, but the best mobile kind of game is Pokemon Go. Um, and that's really interesting. So stick around later on to the episode. Because um, we've got some awesome stuff to talk about at Pokemon Go as well. Um, and then there's a couple of other games. Game Design. Very interesting. Game Design Battlefield 1 is on the list. Um, D Dishonored 2, Inside, Overwatch, Titanfall 2 and The Witness. Let us know in the comments down below. What do you reckon is the best looking game out of them list of games I just said to you? And the winner is, is Inside. Inside won the best game design. Which um, I find interesting. I do. I find it interesting. I thought Battlefield 1 looked beautiful. Dishonored 2 looked beautiful. Um, and also, but if you go for like visually... I was my 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 mind was blown away with Battlefield One, but obviously you gotta give the indie developers a chance and all that stuff. But I find that very interesting that, that one. Um, then we go to f best family kind of game of the last year. So Star Wars Force Force Awakens, Overcooked, The Playroom VR, Pokemon Go, Ratchet and Clank, and another game. Um, uh, t Hair slong sl sl free. I don't have a clue how to pronounce that. The joys of dyslexia for you. <laughs> That's great. Um, and but o o overcooked won that game. It's a really good fun game. You can get on the PS4 or Steam. Definitely recommend checking it out. Really, really good game. Um, evolving kind of game up and becoming really big. So Destiny, uh, Rise of Iron, which I haven't played. I can't really judge on it, but it did look awesome. Um, Elite Dangerous. Uh, Horizons, um, E V E Online, uh, Final Fantasy, the latest one, and Hitman and Rocket League. And let us know in the comments down below. What do you reckon who won that one? <laughs> Rocket League won that one. I could definitely see Rocket League, obviously, that won that one because that's now like moved into being an esports thing and competitive and all that stuff. So Rocket League's definitely got that core of audience which it plays. Then we move to um, British Game. British Game. I'm really intrigued by this one. Um, so on the list we got, had Batman Arkham VR, um, which is no longer going to be exclusive. Um, it's going to be moving over to the lovely um, Oculus Rift very, very soon. Um, then we've got Forza Horizon 3, No Man's Sky. I don't even know why that's on the list. It's probably a better game we can replace that with. Overcooked, Planet Roller Coaster. And yeah, and there's another game as well. Um, but what do you reckon? Who do you want? Overcooked one. Overcooked man, fucking annihilating the awards they did. Absolutely annihilated it. Which is honestly great. I love to see when these people like win games. Not like, oh my Christ, man. Um, then the best game of the 
we all oh, this one was trending on Twitter. So if you didn't catch this one, then I'm surprised. This one was like everyone's going, "Oh my Christ!" Best game of the year, kind of. Oh, best game in over the last year. Firewatch inside Overwatch. Stardew Valley. It was kind of a good game, man. Titanfall 2 or Uncharted 4. Why isn't Battlefield 1 on that list? That's what I'm intrigued by. That's what I'm intrigued by. Um, but the winner is, who do you reckon is going to be the game of the year? I bet it's something you're going to go, no, Stardew Valley. Well, I can tell you now, the winner is Uncharted 4. That won the best game of award. Um, then it's kind of just like inside though it won the most awards for that night which i find absolutely insane so there you go you got your best game of the like in the last year which is uncharted 4 which is highly rated by all like reviewers online and all ps4 players i know always go you need to get uncharted 4 i haven't played it but it looks good something i definitely want to get then obviously the most like awarded award winning game inside so not a bad night it must be said not a bad night for our awards So, if you play Foot Honor, is that warrior base kind of game? I don't. I haven't played it myself, but it looks pretty freaking fun to be. Honest. It is patch um, 1.05 update. Uh, it's available now for PC. You can download it now, um, but it won't be coming out for PlayStation or Xbox until apparently a week today. Um, so, it's going to include um, feature uh, features a whole bunch of it includes some balancing tweaks and many many bug fixes as well. So. So if you've hit been hit by this bugs and all that stuff it's gonna get fixed uh, next week if you're on console but if you've got it on PC well then your problems fixed now obviously it's still gonna always be bugs with games but that, I think that's just a part of how gaming it just is these days uh, moving into the next bit of gaming news which is about Pokemon Go Yes, that's still apparently a thing. Pokemon Go still gets people playing it. But not just a couple of people. 65 million active... Yeah, 65 million active users a month. Which is still crazy. I don't really feel that number's real but at the same time I do part of me's kind of like I don't can't make my mind up on it it obviously is real because it's a thing that's been released um so basically out of 65 million people play it a month um which is obviously it's a video game which is still very successful um and obviously still updating it they just released uh, recently um 65 no, not 65 80 uh, 80 new Pokemon on a game I got a 65 confused with the online you, you get one get confused um so it's kind of like okay 80 new pokemon keep the game interesting and stuff like that roll out updates so it stops being buggy and all that stuff um and they've just recently hit a new milestone which is fantastic i thought it was more than that to be honest by now um 650 million downloads across all platforms i honestly thought it'd be like a close to a billion now literally a billion um because obviously it's like everyone knows pokemon and i even see dads who don't even like the cartoons or the movies playing it because it's like oh the wife's gone into the shop she has so i'm just gonna catch some pork come on i'm gonna try and catch that charizard while wow, the wife's in the shop doing some shoe shopping in this case, I've seen so many like dads playing Pokemon Go. I think it's just like more of an activity thing to do with kids. So you have a bond with your kid, all right? You have a bond with your kid. It's like, yeah, son, I catch uh, that um that Pokemon, that legendary. I don't know that um uh, what's his name? That little green thing in the grass. Yeah, him. Yeah, he's, he's good. Yeah, Pidgey. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine it's that kind of that kind of father son bond kind of thing they sat there talking about Pidgey and all that green thing in the grass <laughs> I imagine it being like that but uh, do let us know in the comments down below do you still play Pokemon Go or not because I'm generally intrigued to anyone like who watches these videos do you play Pokemon Go at all I imagine it's probably one of the things you probably play while you're like at school or something like that or if you're on college or something like that but personally I, myself I haven't played it since last summer I stopped playing it summer ended I kind of went nah, yeah I'm bored of it now I'm just kind of throw it I'm just kind of like yeah cool so I still have the app downloaded on my phone but I just don't play it
So if you play Halo Wars 2, this is definitely a game I want to get. It's kind of like on my top like lists at the moment of games I really want to get because it looks so freaking good because I was a fan of the first one. Um, they have got some new DLC coming out next week, which is absolutely amazing, which is a, a DLC character very soon, uh, which is absolutely awesome. And basically they go on to say the article where they announce there's going to be some new DLC next week. Um, they're planning on every single month updating it, keeping the game nice and fresh, by adding new things and they apparently call them um, the next DLC leader characters next week um, so obviously if you own the season pass for the game you can get it and all that stuff and that's incredible I like the fact that they said I want to keep literally their words is trying to keep the game nice and fresh that's what I that's what I love hearing from from the developers man when they're kind of like that kind of passionate about it that's what i like that's what i like um also as well if you haven't played it uh, so far in the last like week or so um halo wars 2 they have released a new update fixing the gameplay uh fixed issues uh, where watchtowers and <laughs> military response uh, did not detect uh clocked units fixed issues where clocking uh gen <laughs> generate gen generates i uh, would not stop uh, clocking after 15 seconds and all that kind of general stuff and all that so Loads of updates, uh, a little update apparently you can download um, for your lovely Halo Wars 2. Right, people like Call of Duty. Right, 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 right. Please just confirm World War 2 already, will you? Instead of announcing new Call of Duty mobile game in production by Candy Crush Creator. We don't want to hear these kind of announcements, we want to hear world at war being confirmed um so uh, apparently um there's a new call of duty mobile game in production at the moment getting made there's a little statement here our challenge uh challenge as a team is to create a call of duty experience on mobile that will uh transform the best console experience fans and know and love while breaking new ground for mobile and refining the genre that's what he said apparently, and apparently that is what they're working on. They are working on a mobile Call of Duty, and they didn't say anything else, but they're looking to break new ground. Okay, I just want you to confirm World War 2 instead of confirming a mobile game, but okay. So there people, that's all we have for you today. Hopefully you did enjoy today's edition of the Gaming News on a Friday. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like on the video. Do it now before you forget. Do it now before you forget. I know what you like. Do it now. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And anything we talked about today on the gaming news, you want to have a talk conversation to be about, leave a comment down below. I'll re reply to you as soon as I can. And I will be back Monday now with the next episode of gaming news because the weekend goes a bit quiet. Um, so I'll be back Monday. Any major like leaks or anything over the weekend, I will bring it to you ASAP for you. But thank you very much for watching this week today, guys. I will see you Monday with the new gaming news. Bye bye.